First of all, let me express my gratitude to the organizers of the 10th Tolerance Festival and to the Italian Institute of Culture of Zagreb for this kind invitation. Chemistry, literature and memory, how far from each other, from the common sense of lay people. And really, this can be even too, until, until one reads Primo Levi. Our story starts in November 1944. Primo Levi, not Primo Levi, better number 174517 that he has got tattooed on his arm. Primo Levi is at Auschwitz. One of the harshest and most realistic witnessings of the Shoah. I will tell you in the meantime how learning, knowledge, reasoning can become a fundamental tool of survival. The hunger lived in our cells and conditioned our behavior. The system gradually tends to become closed and this leads the cell close to the collapse and to the death. But, but, before this occur, a mechanism fantastic of action and feedback between body and brain cells mediated by complex chemical reactions that are subject of the behavior biochemistry generates a change of human behavior. Primo Levi tries with paraffin. Paraffin, you know, it's the well-known constituent of votive candles is a saturated hydrocarbon made only of carbon and hydrogen and a very inert compound. The Latin name tells us clearly parum affine. But if I make to react with a suitable oxidizing agent, aggressive, and I carefully control that oxidation doesn't occur up to the end, probably I succeed in isolating an intermediate of oxidation, a fatty acid, synthesized in that prison laboratory. The fatty acid is a very important source of energy for cells. It develops about 12 kilojoules per gram when it's subjected to combustion. That is almost the same amount of energy of one gram of sugar. To ingest glycerol and try to metabolize it with those unpleasant side effects. And finally, to thin the small gray rods with those rudimentary lathe and caliber. I wish that this lecture be not only the conference remembering Primo Levi's lesson when more than 25 years passed from his tragic death by suicide. I would like that this lecture be also, in general, the conference of the memory. And I'm going to conclude it offering you a notion of memory which is very particular, you'll see. A notion made only of matter and energy.